Hi uh, guys, just back with another video. So I'm just about to sit down and have my evening meal. And I thought I would just uh, share with you one of my favorite benefits uh, since going vegan. So this here is my evening meal. So I don't know how well how uh, well you can see that on camera. So that's about 1200 calories and there's 282 grams of carbs. Uh, I've got carrots, uh, white potato, uh, carrots, white potato, sweet corn, broccoli, uh, white rice with turmeric and some sweet chilli sauce there. And that is my evening meal. And this is how I eat every day. So when I first, uh, before I went uh, um, plant-based back in November, I used to be sort of scared of food like a lot of other people in the West. I uh, have this idea, carbs make you fat, you need to restrict your calories if you want to lose weight and stuff like that. And ever since I went uh, vegan back in November, I eat more food than I've ever done. Uh, I eat more carbs than I've ever done and I've been the healthiest uh, I've ever been in my life. And the reason why is because we were designed to eat plants, not meat, fish, chicken, eggs, milk or dairy. If we were designed to eat them, we wouldn't get you know, heart disease or type 2 diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis, uh, overwhelmingly from these different foods. And when I went uh, vegan um, or plant-based, uh, the amount of uh, food I uh, began to eat increased quite a lot. And a lot of people think, oh, that, that, that's bad, I, I don't eat too much food. But why? Ask yourself, why is that? If you look in nature, every single animal in nature will eat till it feels full. It will never be scared that it's consuming too many calories. It won't be scared of, you know, carbs. It will just eat whatever it's designed to eat till it feels full and no longer, longer hungry. So why do we as humans feel like we have to, to be different to that? So... Uh, that's basically the main benefit of um, I found guys uh, since I went uh, plant-based. Well, my, it's my most favourite one. Let's put it that way. Uh, who doesn't look forward to being able to eat uh, as much food as they want whenever they want? So, for those of you watching, uh, you're probably looking at this and thinking, "Hang on, this doesn't sound right. I can't eat that." So, don't watch this and think, "I need to eat what he's e eating." So, it could be you're watching this, and let's say. You know, you're a four foot eleven, you know, um, hundred and ten pound woman. You know, you're not going to have, um, you know, such a high um, amount of calories as me. Um, you know, because you're smaller, you have less mass. You know, women naturally burn less calories because their hearts and lungs are smaller, uh, and you know, so on and so forth. So don't look at this and think that I'm saying you need to go away every single night and eat 1200 calories for your evening meal. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that you, uh, no, whether you're type one, whether you're type two, whether you're a normal person, don't be scared you know, of carbs, don't be scared you know, of calories, because on a plant-based diet, you don't have to be. If you look at people on plant-based diets, uh, they have the um, lowest BMIs of any food group, and the lowest rates of you know obesity, the lowest uh, uh, rates of um, type two diabetes, the lowest rates of heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, strokes. They have the lowest rates of cancer. It's undeniable. And if if you look at a lot of the countries over the world, if you look at say China for example, the average Chinese person eats more calories than say the average American or Western. The average American has about two thousand three hundred calories a day. The average Chinese person has about 2,600. Look how lean Chinese people are. And all they, what do they eat? They live off predominantly plant-based foods, so rice and vegetables. Now, you're probably going to say to that, hang on, that isn't actually true. Um, they, they eat pork and what have you. And it's true, they, they, they do uh, eat some meat, but the, the majority, majority of Chinese people you know, are too poor to afford it. Um, and when you look at them, they're the, they're the healthiest people in the world. And interestingly, when you look at China, you can actually see cancer and heart disease and type 2 diabetes rates starting to climb. And the reason why is because as China's getting richer, they have more money. So they go to, to uh, buy the pork and the chicken and the animal products. And the people who do that, 
their health declines. So again, never be uh, scared to eat as much as you want on a plant-based diet. On a plant-based diet, you know, food is your medicine, quite literally. Food is your medicine on a plant-based diet. Um, a plant-based diet has so many health benefits. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, and it doesn't come with all of the, you know, the cholesterol, and the high amounts of saturated fat, the high amounts of trans fat, the cancerous uh, proteins such as uh, methionine, in, uh, which you find in high amounts in animal products. Um, you don't find whey protein or saline, which are from milk, which cause cancer. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, don't be scared of eating carbs or um, large meals on plant-based diet. Long term, you'll lose weight. You'll, you'll feel better, uh, you'll reduce your insulin needs if you're diabetic, you'll lower your blood pressure, you'll reduce your resting heart rate, um, and you'll just feel overall uh, quite healthy. And another benefit I've, uh, I would just want to share with you uh, since I went uh, vegan, um, I don't get cravings anymore. Before I went vegan in November 2014, um, I used to get cravings all the time and what I would find is that I simply wasn't eating enough calories at the time but I didn't realise it and that would manifest itself in certain ways so for example um, at lunchtime and work I'd just have just two pieces of bread because I was scared of carbs and um, I'd go back at lunchtime after, uh, into work and in the afternoon I would be dying for coffee and I'd be running to the coffee machine to get you know coffees or um, smooth mochas um, and the reason why is because I had I didn't have enough carbs I didn't have enough energy to live life so my body needed a caffeine which is a stimulant uh, in addition to that I'd always find myself coming home after work and going to the biscuit barrel and eating biscuits and processed sugary rubbish and stuff like that and since I've gone plant-based doesn't happen doesn't happen because I no longer feel scared to eat you know carbs and eat calories and eat till I, uh, I feel full so I never have cravings um, so that's another thing to look out for guys ask yourself if you currently drink coffee ask yourself why why do you drink coffee are you making a, a, a genuinely conscious decision to do so or are you do, drinking coffee because you have some kind of um, you know, cravings. And then if you've got cravings, ask yourself why. And one of the big, biggest things I've noticed since you know, go, um, going plant-based and since I've become a diabetic is noticing just how much your emotions and what goes in your mind is driven by what goes on in your body. In the West, we have this sort of kind of view that sort of um, compartmentalizes and separates you know the mind over here and the body over here when the reality is that they're interconnected you know they're interconnected and what happens to one will happen to the other um, so one of the things I've uh, I've noticed is that I've learned to listen to you know uh, my emotions you know if I find myself getting angry and frustrated usually it means oh, I've forgotten to eat or I haven't eaten enough to replace calories or carbs I've burned um, you know, if, if I feel like I, I need something, you know, if I'm craving something sugary or, um, coffee, which is very rare, like I said, because I don't really have cravings compared to when I used to, but say if I did, um, then usually what it means is I don't have enough, uh, I haven't eaten enough. So an example is say, um, say if I go out on my bike, I might do, you know, go out for a four or five hour bike ride. I remember one time I went, it was about two hours in, I just started craving, uh, sugar really badly and I realized I just hadn't eaten rather than eating every 20 uh, 30 minutes or so keeping my sugar up. I just um, Forgot so I started getting these cravings. So again guys um, Kind of rambled on a bit there, but I hope I hammered home the point remember never be scared of carbs Carbs do not cause diabetes carbs do not cause blood sugar to go up they do not. If you type on diabetic and your blood sugar is going up or naturally, it's because one, you don't have enough insulin, or two, you've got too much fat in your diet, which causes insulin resistance. The fat covers the cell, um, the, the carbs can't get in, so the blood sugar goes up. And if you type two, 90-95% of the time type 2 again is caused by that same process of insulin resistance. Not saying that all type 2 is, but the vast majority it is. So 
I'm going to try and finish this off now guys. Hope you found that useful. Um, what do you eat? Do you eat plant-based? Uh, do you currently not eat plant-based? Are you scared? Are you scared of carbs? Um, do you not know what to eat? Are you unsure? Do you want to transition but you don't know how? Uh, put your comments, questions and criticisms in the comments below. I will respond uh, and let's get a discussion going. So all the best and I'll hopefully be back tomorrow with another video. All the best now. Bye. And to eat plants, not meat, fish, chicken, eggs, milk or dairy. If we were designed to eat them, we wouldn't get you know, heart disease or type 2 diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis, uh, overwhelmingly from these different foods. And when I went uh, vegan um, or plant-based, uh, the amount of uh, food I... Hi uh, uh, guys, just back with another video. So I'm just about to sit down and have my evening meal. And I thought I would just uh, share with you one of my favorite benefits uh, since going vegan. So this here is my evening meal. So I don't know how well, how, uh, well you can see that on camera. So that's about 1200 calories and there's 282 grams of carbs. Uh, I've got carrots, sort of scared of food like a lot of other people in the West. I uh, have this idea, carbs make you fat, you need to restrict your calories if you want to lose weight and stuff like that. And ever since I went uh, vegan back in November, I eat more food than I've ever done. Uh, I eat more carbs than I've ever done and I've been the healthiest uh, I've ever been in my life. And the reason why is because we were designed began to eat increased quite a lot. And a lot of people think, oh, that, that, that's bad, I, I don't eat too much food. But why? Ask yourself, why is that? If you look in nature, every single animal in nature will eat till it feels full. It will never be scared that it's consuming too many calories. It won't be scared of, you know, carbs. It will just eat whatever it's designed to eat till it feels full and no longer, longer hungry. So uh, white potato, uh, carrots, white potato, sweet corn, broccoli, uh, white rice with turmeric and some sweet chili sauce there. And that is my evening meal. And this is how I eat every day. So when I first, uh, before I went uh, um, plant-based back in November, I used to be...